Wait a minute, you're early? Well, all right, let's get this started. Hi, my name is Ivana and I live in Bangalore. In previous episodes of my vlog, you could see how India went back into full lockdown to battle the second wave of COVID. Also, monsoon was just around the corner and right now we're really getting into the showers. Despite Bangalore slowly opening up again, in this vlog, I'm living my best monsoon life at home. So if you're ready, let's kick off with a moody but very cozy monsoon morning. Amongst the sun, see the day for everything it could be. Stop treading on that snooze button, run. Open your eyes and see everything it was, and is and will be all at once. It's the most wonderful time of the day lunch. Today, I was in the mood for a warm, fresh, soul hugging meal while the rain keeps pouring outside. Want to kiss us in the morning light? Wanna be next to you every night? Oh, I shouldn't love you, but I might. I am so excited to have this lunch slash brunch because it so reminds me of my days when I used to do yoga teacher training back in Kochi. In case you haven't seen those vlogs, it is the 2015 playlist, but I'll link it down in the description below so you can catch up if you want to. Also, in case you have never seen this before, this is putu, which is a flattened rice, I think, and then mixed with coconut and then steamed. So it's basically a rice coconut cake with on top of that kadala curry which is a black chickpea curry i am drooling because i really really want to eat this then i have a veg curry and because we are in the south there's a lot of coconut in there which i freaking love in the meantime hmm, can you hear it it's still actually quite raining outside bangalore weather right now it's just all over the place then the sun comes out, then it's raining a lot and all in one day. It's still nice and warm, so I really, really don't mind the rain at all. It's really cozy, actually. <laughs> While I have lunch, I actually want to watch some Netflix. And I really loved your movie recommendations last time. I looked up Homeward Bound, Balto, Batman is still on my list to watch. But today I want something light, so a dog movie. Unfortunately, Balto and Homeward Bound are both not available on the streaming services that I have, but I can get recommendations based on those movies. So one that I found is White Fang, which is available on Netflix, and I'm gonna watch that one. But of course, I also wanna give you guys some movie recommendations because I have been watching a lot of movies. If we're looking at adventure movies slash survival movies, Sometimes apparently my preferences tend to go into horror waters and one movie that I really like is actually Ready or Not. The horror in there is quite light, I would say, in terms of like ghosts and spirits and those kind of things. However, it is extremely gory, but that is compensated with humor. So if you need a good watch, ready or not, I, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. If you have any more survival or dog movie or maybe cute animation movie recommendations for me, let me know down in the comment below. But Netflix India was like, hold my chai. I saw the super cute trailer for the Bollywood movie Skater Girl and instantly got sucked into it. I adore any kind of Indian movies which teach me more about village life as I don't often get the opportunity to visit and learn. If you've seen this movie too, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it as I found the ending quite odd. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> 
If you're confused as to why I'm off to do my laundry on a relaxing day, well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Wait, let me first start the washing machine and please your eardrums with one of the most soothing sounds ever. doing laundry i love washing laundry i love folding laundry i think it's super super soothing to fold laundry and i have this neat folding hack that i want to share with you guys basically what you do is spread out pants or a top if you have it then you fold it double and then you fold in the crotch let's just call it what it is then fold the top over so it makes for a little envelope and then just roll the bottom until the envelope and put it in. You can do this with your pants, but you can also do this with a top. So with a top, it's the same thing. However, you will have to kind of create a little envelope. First, you fold in the left side to the middle, then the right side to the middle, then you fold the bottom as a little envelope, and then you roll the top into the little envelope. And that's it, it's freaking amazing. My closet has been so much more organized ever since I used that folding hack. What's your favorite household chore? Or don't you have one? <laughs> I can also imagine that. Ta-da! Look at this. And how much more peaceful is it? when the laundry is gone here. I absolutely can't stand it. This is a hot spot in my house. If I just have one thing there, like those books, I need to remove them as well. Somehow in my mind, Pandora's box opens and I'm like, oh, I can drop everything here. And within a day or two, it will be the huge mess that you just saw. Laundry is truly a super fun chore for me and I feel I deserve some chai now. Apparently my use of ginger in the previous video was absolutely appalling. So let's follow your recommendations in this video and see what happens. Barking as a whistle, somewhere in the middle, letting things be simple, let it go, let it go. Ta da! I am fresh and clean again. I don't think it's even 5 p.m. So that's a massive win for today. If you're wondering why are you wearing such a warm sweater if it's still warm outside, well, for me, things get chilly very fast. Anything below 28 degrees Celsius is chilly in my world. So might not be the same for you. However, do keep in mind, if you ever wanna visit Bangalore during the monsoon months, it might be smart to carry something warm in case the weather just cools down after massive rain showers. I think the hottest months are from February. That's when it starts to warm up until the end of May and then beginning of June, the first showers are starting to show up. Now it's the mid June, so yeah, sometimes it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> Well, I definitely have more ginger flavor in my chai, but unfortunately, I don't have this anymore. So I guess it's called a pestle and mortar. So I don't have the pestle anymore. It fell down on the floor. Tiles, stove, it doesn't work. <laughs> Luckily, I have the chai to comfort me. So I will just enjoy that. In front of me guys, I have absolute monsoon heaven. This is a mirchi bhaji or mirchi pakoda, depending on which region in India you are in. Pakodas or pakoras or bhajis are the ultimate monsoon food, anything fried actually. So mirchi bhaji is actually a chili pepper 
which is sliced open, de-seeded, and then filled with spiced mashed potatoes. Not always, but usually they are. Then the chili is dipped in a gram flour batter, which gives it a million times more flavor than if you would make it with regular flour. And actually most pakoras or pakoras or bhajis are all made with a gram flour batter. Usually it's served with a mint chutney and a sweet and sour chutney. I have them mixed here for the people who are going to complain. How are you gonna taste them if they're mixed? I like them mixed. It's okay, we all have different flavors. And yeah, so you dip the bhaji into the chutneys. Mm. This is very typical monsoon food. For the people who have eaten bhaji, pakoda, pakoda in their life, which one is your favorite? Mine is always mirchi bhaji. This nice, hot, fried, crunchy monsoon snack is obviously accompanied by some chai. Oh, we need to have chai on a daily basis here in India. Or filter coffee. Let's not forget the South Indian gold. <laughs> because actually fun fact filter coffee is much much more popular in South India than chai filter coffee in the north I think it will be quite hard to find chai obviously is there everywhere <laughs> mm. especially when it's a little bit chillier outside this is so nice to hug your soul <laughs> maybe someday we can work it out but I'm afraid it's too late to try Baby, I don't dare to love you And you know the reason why Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim Can't you feel the waves come crashing in Running out of safety lines Cause every night, every night I'm bored by now, so I decide to get on with some work. Does anybody else also get back pain due to bad posture while working? I'm trying to prevent this condition called Dowager's Hump, and these exercises have actually been helping me tremendously. Din, 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 din. <laughs> din actually means day in Hindi, so that sounds a little bit strange. Day, 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 day. Anyways, for all my Bangaloreans, or if you are coming to Bangalore in the future, there is this restaurant called Oi Hoi. Nothing sponsored here, this is just amazing, delicious food that I want to recommend you. So Oi Hoi has this tray, which is six rotis and I think uh, two compartments full of baigam barta. In case you don't know, baigam barta is roasted eggplant, mash, masala, curry, whatever you want to call it. And then there is actually this sabzi, so veggie curry on the side. It comes with six rotis. And actually, when I order it, I can have it for dinner and the next day for lunch. It's an amazing deal and the baigam barta is I have to hold myself back from not having this every single day because it's that delicious. Ooh, you eat it with your hands. And trust me, I am a rice person in general, but baigam barta tastes so much better with rotis. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to chill now, watch some TV, and probably go to bed a little bit later, but I'm not sure if I feel like filming back then, so I hope you'll excuse me for that. Do yourself a favor, put a thumbs up if you wanna see more of these kind of videos and if you enjoyed it. Also, what kind of other days in my life would you guys like to see? You guys only wanna see relaxing videos, but maybe you have some other ideas. I was thinking about productive, but that's not something you guys want. Spa day, that's not something you guys want. So maybe you will have some other ideas that I haven't thought of yet. Ah, so good, bye from Barta. You can also consider subscribing to my channel and joining more than 230,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.